the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. St. Andrew the Apostle Parish welcomes you to this celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is the 19th of May, Wednesday of the seventh week of Easter. Please all stand. Entrance Antiphon All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. Alleluia. My, br <clears throat> my brothers and sisters, together with your own individual intentions and the individual intentions of those who join us through live streaming, and for my own individual intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass, we continue to pray for all of us Filipinos that we continue to heed faithfully our health protocol so that God can save us from this COVID pandemic. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family to celebrate the sacred mysteries and the Holy Eucharist in this Wednesday, in the seventh week of Easter, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. Let us pause for a short moment to examine ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, our Father, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Melitus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of His that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak and keep in mind 
the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. All together, your word, O Lord, is true. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lift him, lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, Keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the word in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world. And I consecrate myself for them, so that they also 
may be consecrated in the truth. My brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, good evening. Tayong mga tao ay nagdarasal sa Diyos. Pero masasabi rin ang kabaligtaran na ang Diyos ay nagdarasal din para sa ating mga tao. Tama po ba ako? Tama po ba? Ang Diyos nagdarasal? Di ba yung dasal ay para sa Diyos? Tama po. Dahil sa Ibanghelyo, ang ating Panginoong Hesus ay nagdarasal o nagdasal para sa Kanyang mga alagad sa tatlong bagay. Una, nagdasal, the Lord Jesus said in His prayer, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one just As we are one. So ipinagdarasal ng Panginoong Hesus ang pagkakaisa ng kanyang mga alagad. He prayed for His disciples' unity. Second, Jesus, the Lord Jesus prayed I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. So ipinagdarasal ng ating Panginoon na tayong mga alagad niya ay maaadya sama-sama, na tayong maprotektahan sama-sama. At Pangatlo, the Lord said, Holy Father, consecrate them in the truth. Your truth, your word is truth. So, our Lord Jesus ay ipinagdarasal ang kanyang mga alagad para maitalaga sila sa kato. Tuhanan. So itong tatlong bagay na dapat na sa atin din, na dapat maging katangian natin bilang mga alagad ng Panginoon. Una, dapat tayo makatotohanan dahil itinalaga na tayo sa katotohanan. Ikalawa, dapat mayroon po tayong pagkakaisa. We are supposed to be united. And, pangatlo, that we always want to be protected from evil. Gusto natin laging maiadya sa masama. So yung tatlong ito ay kailangan din natin para mapagtagumpayan ang pandemya ng COVID-19. Agree ba kayo? Una, in this COVID-19 pandemic, we should be truthful. Hindi tayo nagsisinungaling. Eh, iba ngayon, may nagsisinungaling eh. Sasabihin nila, daladala nila yung certificate of testing From COVID-19, kaya lang pala fake yun. Sabi nila nagpa-test sila, hindi naman pala nagpa-test. Delikado yun. How can we 
Paano tayo magtatagumpay laban kay COVID-19? O mayroong sinasabing iba na in negative sila sa COVID-19 when in fact positive pala sila. Wala mangyayari sa atin dyan na maganda. Tapos, we should be united. Mayroon po tayong pagkakaisa na labanan ang COVID pandemic na ito. Paano? Yung minimum, yun ang pinakaunang gawin natin. Yung patuloy na isinasagawa ang healthy, ay yung safety and health protocol. Pero sa ating mga Pilipino, mayroon pa rin pasaway, hindi ba? Narinig ninyo sa sa balita. Bawal ang magbukas ng resort. O, sa kalookan, nag-open sila ng resort. May apat tuloy na naging positive sa COVID-19. Tapos, yung balita rin sa tondo. Nabalitaan po ba ninyo yon? Nagkaroon ng street boxing. O, siyempre, magkukumpulan yung mga tao ron. So let us remember, my brothers and sisters, divided, we will lose. But united, we will win the fight against COVID-19. So, my brothers and sisters, let us be truthful, let us be united, and we will be protected from COVID-19. In this Mass, we implore our Lord Jesus to continue to pray for all of us his disciples, that we will be always united, truthful, and because of that, protected from COVID-19. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O God, our Father, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your command. And through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, we sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are, are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed so is he who comes in, in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O God, our Father, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O God, our Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O God, our Father, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy, all the religious, and all the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Then with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. Andrew the Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever 
and ever. Amen, amen, amen. As Jesus taught us, so we now have the courage to pray to God our Father in heaven that he may deliver us from the scourge of COVID-19. Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be, done be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead, lead us, us not, not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O God, our Father, we pray from every evil, especially the evil of COVID-19. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold Jesus who ascended into heaven and is now seated at the right hand of the Father, happy are you who are called to receive him. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May Jesus bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. May we request those who are receiving the Holy Communion to please fall in line on the designated aisles for communion. As you come before the priest or minister, kindly remove your mask. Extend your hands with palms facing up and the sacred host on the left palm of your hand. Then step aside. Using your right hand, consume the body of Christ reverently. Put on your mask and proceed back to your seat through the other aisle. Thank you. So my brothers and sisters, I will begin in this designated aisle, then in the middle aisle, and then here in the other side aisle. Kain pumila po tayo sa pinakamalapit na designated aisle for communion. Communion antiphon. When the paraclete comes, whom I will send you, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness to me, and you also will bear witness, says the Lord. Alleluia.
Let us pray. May our partaking of this divine sacrament of the Eucharist, O God, our Father, constantly increase your grace within us. And by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please all kneel for the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. All together, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saint Andrew the Apostle. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God continue to bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Go and rejoice because our Lord Jesus continues to pray for all of us, his beloved disciples. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.